In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple touch-off plate for your CNC router. The reason I created this touch-off plate was because I was having trouble setting the Z0 value for the top of the workpiece. Setting this by eye was not consistent, and this was especially noticeable when changing router bits for the same project. Here's the design I came up with to solve this problem. First, there is a box that contains inside of it a, a battery pack that has three AAA batteries, which is 4.5 volts. Uh, coming out the negative terminal is a 150 ohm resistor, and that's connected to a green LED light, and then that's connected to a screw that comes out the top of the box. And I used uh, screws and washers to uh, pinch the leads, mainly to reduce the soldering, as I'm not really uh, the best solder. And then out the positive terminal uh, is connected to another screw. And then outside the box, the uh, negative terminal itself is uh, then connected to an alligator clip, and that clip can then be attached to uh, the router bit or the chuck itself. And uh, then the positive terminal is connected to a flat aluminum bar. So it's just, just a flat aluminum bar I got and cut to length. And I drilled a hole in it and tapped it so I could insert a small uh, screw as well to, to hold the, the lead, which you can easily just solder as well. And so then as the router bit is lowered uh, manually in thousandth of an inch increments, it will then eventually touch the aluminum bar. And uh, when that occurs, the circuit will complete and the LED light will light up. And when the LED is lit up, then we know exactly how high the router bit is above the workpiece. This is what it looks like in use. I have connected the alligator clips to the chuck and placed the plate below. And I usually also uh, tap the two together just to make sure that it's working and the battery is good. Then I lower the bit down by hand until it's just above the plate. Next I jog the bit down in one thousandth of an inch increments until the LED light is on solid. After the LED light is on, I set the Z-axis to the thickness of the touch-off plate 0.118 inches into the controller software. I make this process even easier on my Probotic CNC router, which uses Linux CNC as the control software, I added Z up and down increment buttons to the gamepad control pendant. So by pressing one of the normal speed buttons, which is A, B, or X, and then pushing the right front button, it increments the uh, Z axis down by a thousandth of an inch. I also set the left button to increment up. And uh, this was accomplished by modifying the custom postgui.hal file. This simple project has made a big difference in my CNC workflow and helped with making more consistent E-carved letters and helped keep a consistent Z0 after changing bits on the same project. It is also possible to wire up a plate like this into the parallel port to automate the touch-off, but I think I'll tackle that problem in a future project.